text. Tragedy strikes. Accidents happen. Be there when the calls come in. It's back-to-back -back episodes of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. This is 911. Do you have an emergency? Today on Rescue 911, in search of new heights, a rambunctious five-year-old boy Code four, child. is pinned under a thousand-pound toolbox. Everybody come on. We got first responders. We got a police officer coming and the ambulance. Plus... Despite our best efforts to try and keep our children safe, there are times when kids get into trouble because they insist on doing things their own way. On March 24, 1993, Robbie Kurth was at home in Hamlet, Indiana, looking after her three-month-old daughter and five-year-old son, Bubba. Okay, we'll see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, see you later. Come back and Bubba's see us. Bubba's very friendly. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye! Bubba, you come back in the house now, okay? He's got to wave to everybody. Bye! So he's a daddy's boy. He wants to be in the tools. Bubba, what are you doing? I told you to stay out of those tools. Those are daddy's tools. He's got a temper, and he's, he's a typical Henri, spoiled, rotten little brat, people would say, but he has a heart, too, so for a boy, that's, that's good. I was talking on the telephone. My daughter was in a crib, and I was arguing with some people about a paint job. I, I wanted to straighten that out before making more bills, okay? All right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, no problem. Okay. Just get back in touch with me, okay? All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Yeah, hi, Susie. What you doing? Yeah, no, I'm just fighting with people about bills. He screams all the time. And I try to tell him that screaming is only when you're hurt. And I was like, well, this kid's going to get it. This Discovery Health program is brought to you in part by Mrs. Dash Seasoning Blends. Salt-free, flavorful. Every one of the 12 varieties of Mrs. Dash Seasoning Blends has 14 natural herbs and spices. So now you can add bold flavor to any dish. And since Mrs. Dash has always been salt-free with no MSG, you can create great-tasting, healthy meals that are full of only one thing, mouth-watering flavor. <laughs> Mrs. Dash, salt-free, flavorful. Next, only on Discovery Health Channel. Tonight, a brave mother brings her sons halfway around the world for a risky and unconventional separation surgery. Don't miss Conjoined Twins, high-stakes surgery, tonight on Discovery Health Channel. He screams all the time. And I try to tell him that screaming is only when you're hurt. Baba? And I was like, no, well, this kid's going to get it. He won't even come to me when I holler at him. Bubba, what are you doing? Oh, my God, Bubba. Can you breathe? Robbie called her husband, Sandy, at work to tell him what had happened. Hey, LNG. Wait. With the weight of the toolbox in excess of 1,000 pounds, I pictured the worst, that it had tipped over and just totally crushed him. 911, place fire medical. Yeah, I live at... East US 6 and 
My toolbox fell over on my son. I'm a Port County 911 dispatcher, Kathy Crass, took the call. He was calm about it, but yet I could hear that fear in his voice, and he just says, I, I can't get there. Kingsford Union first responders report base code four, child. I took the chance of dialing the number and hoping I'd catch the mother. Kingsford Union medic one will be in the garage. Hello? Hi, ma'am, this is 911. We've yes. got a I knew from the first time she said hello, I needed to stay in the line with her. Phone. Can you get out yeah, of the garage? Yeah, I can go back out there. I gotta take my daughter though. Okay, just is the toolbox still on him? Yes. Where's it? It's in the garage. Okay, but where's the toolbox? On? I couldn't see any of his I body. Have, we have a minivan in. I was it's scared that yeah. he was gonna die on me. I was gonna lose my son. Is he conscious? Yes. Okay, just keep talking to him. Keep him calling. I don't want you to move him. Okay. Okay. She had to feel hopeless. Good. And all I could do is assure her and keep her calm so she wouldn't take that chance of trying to lift that toolbox herself. Look at Mama. Stay there, Mama. Come over there. He wasn't talking to me, and I, you know, I couldn't tell if he was okay. Uh, we've got everybody coming. We got first responders. We got a police officer coming, and the ambulance, ma'am. Okay. I know. Come on, you got to stay with me, okay? Come, I don't want you to. the garage so they can see. Okay. All My right. biggest concern at that point was to to bring her back down, make sure she's listening to me and not paying so much of what her child is suffering. Ma'am, you've got to stay calm, okay? Yeah. Just stay calm. Don't get there. Yeah, it come. Okay, just calm down. It's all right. They'll help you. Okay, I'm going to hang up, okay? I was very relieved. Uh -huh. I knew, finally, someone was there to help her. Within seven minutes of the call, volunteer rescuers arrived on the scene, including firefighter EMT Spencer Walker. How in the heck did you get trapped under a toolbox? We had no idea what to think. And I saw it, and I just, I couldn't believe it. What's your name? What's your name? No, hold it, hold it, hold it. First instinct was for everybody to just grab hold of a toolbox and, and jerk it off. But we said, you know, you know time out. Uh, you know, there might be some injuries here we don't know about. He's a foot and a half off the ground. We, if, if his legs broke or something, we don't want him to just fall and crash to the floor. Okay, move your legs for me, partner. Okay, how about the other one? I can see he can move his hands and feet. That's uh, so, okay, let's go ahead and set it up. Let's get him out here. Ready? Get him out of here. He comes over to me and he says, you know, I'm cold, I'm gonna go in the house. Okay, bye-bye. LaPorte County Paramedic Jeff Rose assessed Bubba's condition. He was still very shook up. Wasn't quite sure what happened to him yet. Took his blood pressure, pulse, respirations, and listened to his lung sounds. It was amazing that there was no injuries at all. It could have been as long as 10 minutes. I was signing it up so my mom wouldn't know. I thought she would get mad at me. Because I climbed on it, and I scratched the van. If it wasn't for that van, he wouldn't be around to talk about it. The toolbox could have crushed his chest, Bubba, crushed his skull, second, okay? had some spine injuries, could have been paralyzed. I would say miracle, but I think it's more like dumb luck. When the bell breaks, the play the ball. Yeah. I didn't think they were going to get there on time. And they told walk would stay on me forever. <laughs> I think of all the things that that he's going to do in his life and we're going to do together. And the thought of not having that, yeah, that's devastating. The same day as the accident, the Kurths took Bubba to their family physician. Even the doctor said, I've seen other cases of, you know, heavy toolboxes falling on people and stuff. and. You know, I don't want to go into details with your son being here, but he is very lucky. As for a lesson, I bolted the toolbox to the wall. Now I realize that there's a lot more dangers in your garage than you think. All right. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Next. Next.
Next, step inside the command center where the calls for help are answered and meet the real-life heroes who save lives. Stay tuned for another episode of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles. Mr. Shapiro, step out of the car.